Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gerbeagly with another episode of Gaming with Gerbeagly, and I'm once again playing another random one-shot from over here on lag.com. This is a game called Icy Purple Head, and as you guys can probably hear in my voice and see in my face, I am actually pretty sick right now, but I still wanted to put out content, make sure that I'm making some videos for you guys to enjoy. This is a game where apparently we control this purple head, and when you click on the screen, he turns into ice, and he goes through a whole bunch of obstacles, so it's more of a puzzle game it didn't sound super stressful to me or anything like that because I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to put like a hundred percent energy into this the way that I normally do so I was like puzzle games those sound pretty relaxing normally you get like multiple tries and things like that so anyway let's go ahead let's see if we can get icy purple head on his way on his journey it looks like there's 30 levels which is very impressive so let's go ahead let's get a slide in so when you let go he turns back into a normal head and he stops moving so he needs to pick a momentum with the ice block version of himself and then here we have a fan okay ah and the fan blows us along very nice okay introducing the mechanics of the game Ooh, and that fan will oh what the heck that fan blew us up into like a teleporter okay that was kind of neat and we got a checkpoint flag Oh, and it looks like the checkpoints actually serve as the levels. So this is now level two. I was going to say, gosh, this is like a, you know, a very, very long tutorial because normally in puzzle games, tutorials last like a couple seconds. That one was uh, was a little bit longer, um, but really it's just because we went on to the second level. Oh, my gosh. So I'm guessing that those zappy things down there will kill us. And then when we get to the end of the thing, uh oh. I thought when we get to the end of this little platform we're on, if we're ice, we should slide off, right? Yeah, there we go. Uh oh, careful. Uh, pick up enough momentum to get by that thing. Oh, what the heck? What was that? What what in the world was that? It's weird that like a normal head wouldn't get blown by this fan, but when he's ice, he gets blown by it. Is that an obstacle? Is that something bad? What the heck? What is going on? Oh, oh, I see. Okay. Ew, what the heck? Oh, all right. To the right, there's actually a diagram that shows us. That's like a little octopus tentacle thing. And when you turn into, when you're ice, you can't stick to it. But when you turn into regular, you can stick to the suction cups on it. Okay, I get it. Now, now I see, especially why it's making that goopy weird noise. Okay, and then, then I drop off of it. Oh, okay, nice. Level three. All right. I like this game. This is cool that it's like introducing the different mechanics of the game into it pretty slowly uh, and at a really comfortable pace. So here, I'm guessing we want to, yep, move on up. Get squished to that. Drop into the teleporter. Not those spikes. Oh, they're icy death spikes, too. And then we got these. Oh, uh, what the heck? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay. So we actually can stick to them if we... Oh, my gosh. And then it turns into a swing. Drops us off. But we have to make sure we're not an ice block when we hit those if we want to swing. Oh, my God. All right. That was insane. Now we have to wait for this platform below us to drop down onto it. Okay. That was right on the edge. No! The platform betrayed me and pushed me off the side. Oh, that's so sad. That is so, so sad. Okay, so swing into that. No, I thought I was not an ice block. Now I'm dying. Oh, go easy on me, game. I'm sick. Go easy on me. So now we go, what? And then we wait for the platform. This time we should wait for the platform to get a little bit more under us, I guess. Oh, no. No, I stuck to the side. <laughs> oh, no. The suction cups also betrayed me. They they stuck me to the side of the freaking thing so that I... I went flying down into my death instead of, uh, there we go, that time it worked. <laughs> instead of being able to, uh, fall straight down onto the platform. I have to remember, like, to hold down. There we go. There we go. That took way too long. That took way, way, way too long. Obviously, I have, like, really tired, sick brain right now, so it's a little bit hard for me to, to figure out all the mechanics sometimes here. Ah, okay. I see what I got to do here. I just got to tap a little bit and creep down the side along the creepy suction cup tentacle things. Don't get zapped by these lasers. Who's putting all these lasers here anyway? Whoa, why did I fall? Okay, it worked out in the end. I don't know why I fell off the side there like that. I, I, I sort of like changed angles and I just like couldn't stick to the wall and I flew down there. Thank gosh that I didn't die. That was crazy. Okay, oh my God, almost hit those. Almost hit those spikes. Okay. Do we have enough momentum to keep moving forward? I need to get to that flag there. Oh, I'm just slowly but surely making my way. Oh, yeah. Slide into that flag, buddy. There we go. It's really cool that, like, some of the, the things that help you out are only activated if you are ice block. And sometimes they're 
there are things that will get in your way more if you're an ice block so you just have to really like pay attention in this game so there i wanted to make sure it changed direction so we got the momentum going over this way to the next flag this little section this level was short okay level eight now what's that oh holy crap all right so when i'm ice i can't this is a jump pad I can't jump off of it as an ice block, but as a regular head, I can, yeah, maybe launch myself, get a little bit of momentum as an ice block, and then launch myself, boink. There we go. Ooh, boink. Aha, you thought you could get me? Easy. Whoa, that platform went flying over to me. That was crazy. Okay, so now we want to use the, the upward air force there to move that way, and then, uh, almost, almost. No, 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 get up. Oh, no. That stunk. Thank you for zooming back to me, platform, though. Thank you very much for that. Oh, we were almost there. We were almost there. It felt really good for like a quick second. And then it sort of like bounced off the side of the platform. So you got to keep like a lot of the physics in mind. There we go. Teleporter right into a flag. Otherwise, you get sort of caught up. Whoa, okay. Uh, no, no, no. Right into the pit. Come on, man. All right, we got this. We got this. Uh, yoink. And then boom. Oh, no. Oh, you kissed glory, little purple head. Why would you do that to yourself? Why would you just kiss the glory? Why wouldn't you actually go for the full glory? There we go. And then bop. No, 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 no. Oh, he's got a little, it's got suctions on the suction. It's got like an upward air force on it. So I got to just wait for it to be right there. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's glide over barely slowly making our way over there. And then wonk. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Takes a little bit of thinking in this game. This game takes a little bit more thinking than I thought was going to happen. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this isn't quite as peaceful as I thought it was going to be for my sick day recording. But ah, oh, but we're, we're still figuring it out. I'm still having a fun time with this game. There's like so much to it. There's so many little obstacles. There's so many little things to keep in mind. Like when he stops on a dime like that and then he sort of like starts rolling over. That's like that's when it's dangerous. That's when it's tough. Oh, no. Wait, do I not have enough momentum to go? Ah, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. OK. And bop. There we go. OK, had to wait that one out a little bit. Oh, I gotta, I gotta slide past this one. No, I see what I gotta do. I gotta slide and also make sure. Whoa, the timing on that. That was me. Perfect timing, 100%. Totally not luck. I promise. I, I can't promise that. I cannot promise that at all, in fact. All right, go up. Wow, these are getting complicated and crazy. These levels are nuts, man. Okay, so laser beam, laser beam. Leave me alone. There we go. And then bump and then bump and then oh boy don't bump there don't bump there okay bump it, it reminds me a little bit of geometry dash but like geometry dash puzzle that's what it, this game is it's like geometry dash puzzle it's really fun though i like this a lot okay can we go <laughs> i thought i was dead for sure whoa look at that he sticks the landing too guys he sticks that landing what is that thing it's like a giant spiky serpent of death how am I supposed to make it past that crap? That thing is insane. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, here we go. Go! Flee for your life! No! Little, 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 little icy head, you stupid idiot. Oh my gosh. All right, stick that landing again. There we go. You're on the Olympic team! Oh my gosh, that was so close. Oh, and it timed it so we got past the... Oh, that was close. <laughs> it timed it so we got past the stupid thing. Oh no, this is gonna... Oh my gosh, I'm breaking the platform! I pushed it way up into outer space almost. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We just feather it, feather it, and ah, safety. Safety at last. Oh my gosh, guys. This game is just, there's a lot going on here. This is very complicated. I'm only halfway through the game, and I feel like this is the, the biggest challenge I've faced in a, in a puzzle game like this in such a long time. It feels good, though. I like this a lot. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, there's just so much going on. There's no way not to have fun because you're you're constantly running into new obstacles. You're constantly running into new gameplay mechanics. And that's awesome. That is just really dope. It's really cool. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I made it over that. I was not expecting to. I honestly was not. All right. This this at least this area is pretty safe looking, uh, even though the bouncy pad isn't really uh, it's not really cooperating. Come on. We got it. Let me into the thank you. No, it almost sucked me up. I need that. I need you to 
to get me up there. Oh no, please. More physics uh, needed to survive. Uh. Okay, get me up there and then launch me. Oh baby, come on. Come on. Uh, yeah. Oh, come on, that was like right under it. How is that not the one? This could take forever now. I feel like this one's gonna take forever. This of all the ones that could thwart me, this is not the one I saw thwarting me. Oh my God, we did it. No thwarting today, game. That's right, I figured my way around you. And then we go around here and then get that checkpoint. And this one looks fun. It looks like there's a bunch of teleporters or something. It's one that I'm probably not gonna tackle this time because it looks like it takes a lot of concentration, a lot of timing, a lot of focus that I don't have right now. So I'm gonna actually end this one here, guys. I previewed about half the game for you, a little bit over half the game. If you guys want to give this one a shot, I highly recommend that you do so because it's a lot of fun. It's easy to pick up because it's only one button that you press, but the mechanics of the game make it actually very challenging and it's really satisfying to get past those challenges. Hopefully you guys give this one a try and hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please, please, please check this game out over here on lag.com. And as always, it was great seeing you. Bye-bye.